Now that you have your trail fire grill, let's talk propane tanks. We get a lot of questions from people, what propane tanks do we prefer? And the answer to that is we like three different options, depending on the situation. For just day use, camping, going to the beach, something light and transportable, we'll go with the four and a half pound steel tank. This will last all day plus some for cooking and fire pit use. The go-to every day is the Viking. It's half the weight of any other propane tank. It's made out of a carbon composite material, and you can actually see through it to see what your gas level's at. Very handy tank. Compared to these, they're about $69. These are about $190, and these come in all different options and sizes, but we are a big fan of the Viking tanks. This is an 11 pound. They make other options for you, but this is the one that we like the most. It's actually originally designed for marine use, and we like it for the Sprinter van because it doesn't clank around and bang around and mesh up your interior like a propane steel tank will. And it's a lot quieter when you're driving overland or off-roading. And then for a weekend or a week camp out, we'll take the 20 pound average return and burn propane tank. If we're gonna use a lot of cooking and a lot of fire pit, this is our go-to. But it is heavy and it's bulky, so if we have to walk into camp or we're not car camping, it's not ideal. We prefer the smaller options for day or two day use that are more transportable. Pro tip on the OPD propane valves. They do have a safety device inside that if it opens up and feels a free flow line of gas, it will shut the valve off and reduce the flow of gas significantly, leaving you with a small flame or no flame at all. Before you open the OPD valve on the propane tank, make sure whatever device you're hooked up to is off. So the regulator on the trail fire is currently off. We're good to go. I've opened the propane tank. And then I'll just go ahead and open my regulator, turn the knob, and I'm lit. When you're done using your trail fire, red valve off, then close the regulator on your tank, and you're good to go.